are some upper body stretches that you want to concentrate on. Most of the time when we're in a forward position, you're going to have uh, what they call an upper cross syndrome. So you really want to concentrate on two main areas and that's going to be your chest muscles and your lat muscles are what become the tightest. Those are your biggest muscle groups. So let me show you a chest exercise. You can take any uh, solid object like this. You place a hand there and actually to be more correct, get your arm at a 90 degree angle and then just simply turn away from it. And again, like we talked about before, all you're doing is looking to feel that stretch in the chest, hold it for 20 seconds, okay? I'm not gonna hold it for 20 seconds because take a, a film, but hold that for 20 seconds. That's a good chest stretch or even just something like this, okay? Anything where you feel that, that stretch. Now your lat muscles right here, that's another big muscle group that becomes tight. A great way to do that, again, take a solid, safe object that's not movable. Doug, I assume this one is not movable, right? If I pull on it. Right. Okay. So you backhand it, okay? You kind of squat down and like sit into that stretch. And now you're stretching all that muscle, okay? And again, hold that 20 seconds. Those are the, the two main groups. Other supplemental muscles you want to stretch on your upper body is a shoulder stretch. So you just reach over your body, grasp your elbow, and hold, okay? Again, 20 seconds. When you're stretching, you don't necessarily have to. It shouldn't hurt. It should feel good. So get it so you feel the stretch, but you're not forcing a stretch, okay? So again, you're going to do both sides on that, okay? What else we see become tight, I know this happens with me a lot, is your neck muscles. So that is very simple. What you want to do with that is getting a good posture, which is be turning your thumbs up and out, pull your shoulder blades down and back, so you have a good posture and just simply lean your ear like you're trying to listen to your, your shoulder, okay? So just keep your posture right and just lean to the side. You'll feel a big stretch up through the traps in the neck. 20 seconds on that. So those are some upper body stretches. Now let's go to the lower body. Lower body, of course, is gonna probably become the tightest because we're in a sitting position all the time. So what you wanna do with that is to, when we have a tight back, it's usually the the opposite muscle that is tight, okay? So if, if my back is constantly hurt, I wanna stretch the hip flexor muscle, okay? So doing that, we can do it kneeled, but for your purposes, if you're out on the road, you don't wanna kneel on the ground. So you take a step out, okay? And then you're just simply leaning, you're kind of putting your thumbs on your lower back and kind of leaning back, okay? If you see this position, one foot out, lean and you'll feel a stretch all through the hip flexor hold that 20 seconds that's a great stretch because when our hip flexors are in a seated position they become tight right so we have to reverse that okay another stretch again you want to hold on to something grab the back of your ankle that's going to stretch the the front of your leg okay 20 seconds there hamstrings back of your leg this is, this is the perfect way to do it. There's, I, I like to do it this way. Depending on your range of motion, you put a heel on. You can come up closer or zoom in. The, put your heel here, or if you have some more flexibility, you put it here. But you want to keep your legs straight, okay? This might be enough stretch for you. Like, I feel it right there. Or if it's not enough of stretch, I just start reaching towards my toe, but not bending over. I keep my torso straight. And that gave me a lot more stretch, okay? So again, I'm feeling that really get on there. Um, so we went through hip flexor. We went through the front of the leg, your, your quad, back of the leg, the hamstring. And another part that becomes, for some reason, with drivers, I see it very tight. And that's your calf, your calf muscles. Don't forget to stretch those. So I like this stretch the most. You let's take the same position right here, put your toe against the tire make sure the ball of your foot is on there and then pull yourself into here okay and if you see this position right here keeping my legs straight I'm gonna pull in and you'll feel that stretch really hit that calf muscle remember again the key is to take time take that 20 seconds and hold it sometimes we don't hold it for as long as we need to and it doesn't activate it doesn't have the same response so make sure you hold that 
stretch for 20 seconds. Um, those are some really key stretches. And, you know, so again, in addition to your extra checks and the extra activity we're uh, talking about, use one of those. You can even use the Tabata timer to time those, because that's 20 seconds, time those stretches and use that as one of your Tabatas throughout the day. And you might actually do each stretch at a different point on the truck. And while you're holding that 20 seconds, why not look around and see what's going on uh, with your truck as well. All right.